AITA for considering selfish the reason why my husband doesn't want to have a second child? This situation happened a year ago, but recently a conversation made me reflect on it. Let me start from the beginning. Me, 29F, and my husband, 31M, had our first child in February 2023. At the time of the birth, I decided that I didn't want him to be present in the delivery room. I didn't allow him to be present during the birth. I only wanted my mother and the medical team present. I told him this when I was about eight months pregnant, as we were finalizing preparations. He seemed surprised and hurt, asking why. I simply didn't feel comfortable with anyone else besides my mother by my side. He just said, okay, and didn't argue. A few weeks later, I went into labor. My mother called the ambulance and went with me to the hospital. She also messaged my husband at work letting him know I was in labor, but he didn't respond. He didn't call slash text either of us the whole time I was in labor. When I finally gave birth a few hours later, my mother informed him via text message, he simply replied with, okay. He didn't come to visit us. I thought he was still upset and would visit us later. The first time he came was when I was discharged from the hospital a few days later and he came to pick us up. He didn't even acknowledge our baby. I expected some sort of emotional encounter between them, when I asked why he didn't even hold our child, he said I had already stolen from him the first encounter and that I wouldn't have the privilege of witnessing another. Currently, he's an incredible parent. However, recently, when we discussed the possibility of having a second child, he expressed his reluctance. When I pressed my husband about it, he said something like, did you think I would let you stop me from witnessing the birth of another child in this world? I didn't respond. This attitude made me wonder if he's using this reason as an excuse for not wanting to have another child. I understand he may have been hurt by not being involved in the birth of our first child, but is it fair for him to use that as justification for not wanting another child? Edit, okay, I understand. I'm a h and I'm wrong. I shouldn't have let my fears and comforts come before my husband's feelings. I'll apologize and suggest couples therapy. Anyway, the idea of having another child is far off until I solve the problem I created and regain his trust.